Hey everyone, so I picked up these um, winter gloves from Urban Rider, uh, ordered them online last week, they've just come today, um, I think it was Friday I ordered them, maybe Thursday evening, so it's practically, it could even have been Saturday actually, but it's practically next day delivery, so quite impressed with that. Um, my hands are really suffering with my um, my leather gloves, my gold top uh, cafe racers in the winter so I need some something that's a bit more waterproof and uh, a bit warmer my old arthritic hands so these are Gore-Tex and they are um, you know supposed to be warm and waterproof for the winter they're from a French company called Racer and these are the uh, Command GTX gloves in khaki um, I don't know how much detail the camera's picking up there but uh, they're quite lightweight I say they're about 50 quid I got them for 53 quid I think they're advertised on the racer website at 99 euros so that was quite a saving um, yeah so they're quite lightweight and um, they've got these hard knuckles which I don't particularly like in a glove but I do understand that they do have that safety benefit and um, they've got reinforced that leather on the tops of the fingers and that kind of suede leather on the palm there, part of the palm with um, some leather detail in there. Uh, Velcro adjusters on the wrist and the cuff. Not a massive fan of the, the black backing on those adjusters, but it, it works, probably protects the webbing a bit. So I'm normally a medium in gloves. Um, I went by the measurements on the site and ordered a medium and it's, uh, it's a good fit actually. Feels quite snug across the palm. Um, finger length is good. There's a little bit of ex excess uh, material there at the tips of the fingers, but of course on the bike you need a bit of that for the, the reach around the controls. Um, cuff has got quite a nice fit over the jacket. Um, I picked up this old Hein Gerrick textile off uh, Facebook Marketplace for 20 quid because um, my leathers were just getting drenched every day so I needed something a bit more waterproof and to be honest a bit warmer and this is a really nice jacket um, Hein Gerrick I'll do a separate video on this at some point but uh, yeah 20 quid for that but anyway back to these gloves good fit over the jacket nice colour match actually um, khaki green don't mind that at all and it goes fairly well with the jacket but the acid test will be to see what they're like on the bike so uh I'll report back then. Okay, so I've been using these um, gloves for the best part of a week now, and uh, I thought it might be useful to get a bit of a closer up view of the gloves uh, and just give you a few of my a few of my thoughts. Um, so I was initially a bit sceptical, I'll be honest, you know, um, I just paid 50 quid for these gloves. And as I said, they were up at 99 euros on the manufacturer's website. Um, I'm a bit sort of out of touch with, with gloves really. And to be honest, um, apart from my gold top, gold top cafe racers that I've had for a couple of years now, I've generally always been quite a, a cheapskate when it comes to gloves. I've always bought either sort of second-hand ones or, you know, cheap sort of 20 quid ones. And you, you do get what you pay for generally. Um, I can't remember how much the gold tops were. I think they were something like 60 odd quid. And I remember thinking, wow, this is a lot of money to spend on gloves. Of course it isn't. You can spend sort of two, 300 quid on a pair of gloves, can't you? But, you know, with the gold tops, as soon as I opened the packet, I felt like I was getting what I'd paid for. And I'm really still really pleased with them. These gloves, I wasn't so sure. I'm not all that familiar with textile gloves. I know they've got the leather palms, haven't they? But, you know, they're, they're basically a, a, a Gore-Tex textile glove. I opened up the packet and they felt really light. And I thought, oh, God, you know, what, what, what have I got here? I wasn't a massive fan, as I said before, of, of this um, material stitched onto the Velcro. But actually, having used them for a week... That does work. That seems quite strong. It holds things in place like it should. Um, 
the leather on the palms is quite thin uh but actually that kind of works on the bike because you know with a lot of winter gloves you end up with a thick old glove that you can't feel your controls you know you, you, you can't cancel your indicators easily and it's all just thick and horrible and getting in the way but because these are so light you know you don't have that it feels like you're wearing a summer glove almost on the bike and that's really nice um and they're really comfortable the, the fit is excellent on these um the only thing i would say on on this glove the uh, the left hand glove um i have found that sometimes it's rolling up a bit here uh on the on the bars which is a bit weird on the palm you've then got to kind of reseat your hand on the on the bars but that's a really minor niggle and I think that's probably more to do with them being new because uh, they're only just starting to kind of mould to the shape of my hand. You know how gloves get that lovely thing, don't they, after they've been weathered a bit where they they fit like a glove, you know. And I think these will do that. So that's a, a very minor criticism that I think will settle out. Um, they've got kind of a, a, a fleecy lining inside. I don't think the camera's going to show you that in this light. But it's, it's a really nice, soft kind of fleecy lining they're really comfortable to wear and although they are so light they're warm um so we're, we're still in autumn it's not terribly cold i think the longest journey i've done this week was about an hour hour and a half or so round trip uh, and it must have gone down to about eight degrees i guess um there's a bit of wind chill you know that i could feel in other parts of my body but i couldn't feel it in my hands which i would have done with the gold tops the leather gloves so i i think these are going to be good for the winter but you know until we're into sort of sub zeros i can't really comment for sure on how good they are in extreme cold so i'll, I'll you know maybe do another video or, or answer, answer comments on this one later into the winter on that but so far they do feel like they're going to be warm i don't i don't feel any of the the wind on the bike on my knuckles or my hands like i do with the with the leather gloves as far as the waterproof goes, they are Gore-Tex, so I'm expecting them to be fully waterproof. Um, I've been out a couple of days this week where it's been raining lightly, uh, but I haven't. I mean, you know, on a bike, the real test for a pair of gloves is, is a motorway, isn't it? When it's slashing it down for about an hour, you know then if you're going to get wet hands or not. Um, but the sort, of, the sort of light rain that I've been out in on, on A roads and B roads, my hands have stayed completely dry. Uh, and warm you know so initial thoughts i'm bagging bit skeptical having ridden them for a week on the bike very happy so far so providing they div do live up to that we are warm in the winter and we are dry in the rain claim i think these are a really good glove They're, they are nice and light and that isn't a criticism having used them it means that you've got the, the, the sort of tactile feel of a summer glove in a winter glove um, and I would say if you get the opportunity to get a pair of these uh, at the kind of knockdown price like I did, um, I would say go for it because they're a bit different. You know, they look a bit different to your standard fare that they do these in other colours. I think there's a, um, was there a tan, this khaki green and just your regular black. Um, but, you know, they are a bit different. The colour scheme's a bit different, which I like. Uh, and yeah. So overall, for me, it's a thumbs up for these. And um, if I had the chance to again, I would I would buy them again at that price point. I think they are worth that. You know, the stitching seems good. I know I've only used them for a week, but you kind of get a feel, don't you, on the bike of how a pair of gloves is going to behave. And these feel like they're going to live up to their price point. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with those. So that's the Racer Command GTX in khaki. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found this useful. I'd love to hear your comments if you've used a pair of these yourself or if you've got other thoughts on what makes a good winter glove. Um, you know, like I said, they're not a £300 glove. They're a, they're a sort of £50 to £100 glove. So, you know, it's unfair to compare them to the premium stuff. But I think they do the job that they are trying to do very well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there. I'll catch you in the next one.